Today we're going to take a look uh, at the new configurator uh, within SolidWorks. As you can see, we're going to start by activating a drop down menu that's been added and customized in SolidWorks to fit your customer or to your needs. Uh, we're going to create a new configuration of this, uh, this particular project and you're going to see there the files are going to open up that we're going to need to do this uh, project with and it's going to open up my basic kind of prototype for this project. Now at this point it's going to give me several options here to go through and make some changes to uh, create some settings uh, all based and all customized off of what uh, the customer is desiring. Uh, there's also notes or pop-ups here that will allow you to uh, to stay within parameters. We're going to change the length there to 120. We're going to tell it that the open end is going to be on the east end where we're going to get these barrels out. And we're going to make some other slight modifications as we go through and uh, creating this new customized model through Configurator. As you can see here, we have the hopper here that we can go in and make changes to. Um, and as these changes are made, the, uh, the area for stiffeners is also updated, as you can see, uh, to make sure that there's enough uh, stiffeners on these hoppers to keep it from collapsing uh, from the weight. So uh, this is an automatic thing that's being done as we go through and do the configuration. And we also have the ability to use existing configurations of the flange or we can actually create a custom configuration and then go in and actually put in our own part number, our own part, uh, if you will, uh, to use in this particular configuration. So let's go ahead and get this thing started uh, creating our new configuration using ConfigWorks. As you can tell, we have a progress bar across the bottom that's giving us some idea here of when we're finishing. Uh, you can see that we specified the east side of this particular uh, configuration to be the side to get the barrels out from under this, uh, the hoppers. Uh, you can see that the, uh, the braces there have slid up in order to give you that room out on the side that you specified. And we're going to go in now and take a look at a couple of drawings that uh, it generated. And you can see there the, the supports uh, there on the, uh, on the drawings. Now with these drawings, you can go in and actually move the parts around, move the, move the uh, views around and clean them up. But we can also use e-drawings to uh, publish, this, uh, publish these drawings that they can be sent out to your customers. Your customers can there then hit the play button on eDrawings and actually see a rotated 3D model of the entire uh, configuration of this, of, this, uh, uh, of this part, of this model. So you can see eDrawings is free to the world. It's uh, downloadable. This whole file is compressed into about a three meg file and and that's including the viewer. So uh, any customer or any person vendor out there that you could send this to would be able to have it and be able to uh, see it, uh, be able to mark it up, be able to uh, take a look at it, and uh, also to uh, uh, give you some feedback on your model and what they want. Now, we take another look at the drawings that we did. You'll notice that some of the drawings, uh, some of the dimensions are out there are not uh, necessary because they were stiffeners that weren't needed. We're going to do some alignment here on some balloons to make sure that they're aligned both horizontally and vertically uh, to just do some cleanup work. You're going to see a bill of material here that's been created just for this hopper, not for the entire part, but this is just for the hopper that you see here. Now you can also see here uh, other views that are not necessary, so we're going to go in and take those views out and hide them. Uh, also in this one as well, there's a couple of views there that uh, 
was not needed. So uh, we'll remove those. You can also see how we can go in and adjust dimensions to uh, align them to uh, make it more pleasing or more visibly uh, readable. Uh, just simply with a click and a drag. We can go in and move notes around and drop them in place. And also the views themselves and just uh, just do a uh, a quick cleanup of the of the job that uh, SolidWorks has done or ConfigWorks has actually done for us uh, by moving these views around and adding a couple of more dimensions if necessary for the manufacturability of, of these parts. Uh, you can add a couple of dimensions here, uh, a couple of center lines. Uh, any of this is is uh, easy in SolidWorks with just a click and a, and a drop and drag. Now we're taking a look again at some more drawings, uh, giving you different uh, different areas, different appearances. Uh, you see all the supports here uh, on uh, one particular side of the uh, of the structure. Uh, you can see that we can move these around, pull them out, to create the uh, appropriate views the way that they should look. Clean them up, drag some dimensions in place. Uh, and place them neatly um, so that they can be used in the shop. This again is another uh, drawing, but this time it's of the uh, of the opposite side. So there's a, a few li different links here that we're having to deal with. And we're putting some dimensions on here as well. Moving things around, making sure that uh, everything looks nice and neat. We go back to our model now, and we'll make some changes to this. Just uh, we're going to prepare this thing, go ahead and make some changes, and and tell it that we want to have uh, the front of these, the inlets, to be changed, and we want them to be three panels each. And as you can see, um, SolidWorks actually replaced each one of those panels with one with three panels on it. So now it's just a matter of going in. We could probably we can make that change automatic, but uh, now it's just a, a matter of going in and uh, editing that uh, component pattern and going in there and just telling it which components that you want to skip uh, when making this. Uh, um, we're making these patterns. Now the one on the end, once this finishes up, you'll see that the one on the end kind of sticks out. Well, we're going to go back in and replace the one on the end with uh, with a simple flat pattern, uh, just a sheet metal flat pattern that will uh, will not have an inlet there. So uh, we're going to go in and select the, the blank from our configuration listing and tell it OK. And we should see the update here in just a few seconds. So now you see that we've changed the inlets to a three door and we've actually changed the last one to a flat panel so there is no door there. We can go in and change the components here, the configuration as well. And we can go in and we can change some of the uh, configurations to uh, have blank lugs on them so that we're, uh, these are all configurations of the side panels of, of these particular uh, parts. So we can add lifting lugs to those parts. I'm going to uh, roll it around and actually do the same thing on the opposite side. Change that configuration also to the uh, reservoir with the uh, lifting lug on it as well. So now we have a center uh, of gravity there that we can actually lift this whole assembly up uh, without uh, having a, a problem with uh, getting it off the ground. And as you see here, our drawings updated. Uh, you see the lifting lugs in there. You also see the uh, three uh, three door components, uh, how they uh, how they also updated in our drawing as well. And uh, very easily being able to change and do things with Configurator. 
Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call.